Mertz Jaffer here, and I am joined by everyone that was evicted in Thursday's episode of Big Brother. We are going to start with the star of the episode, the random gummy bear. Marty, I am going to start with you. Are you ever going to eat a gummy bear ever again? <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> uh, and Gino, who do you blame more for your eviction, Marty or the gummy bear? I'll blame the gummy bear. Um, obviously, it was Marty's decision to do this, but I said yes to it. I should have just ate it. But I went with it. I was a team player. I won show trust, and uh, I'll just blame it on the gummy bear for now. Summer, what did you think about the gummy bear situation? How much did you know about Marty using it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was comedic. When I found out about it, I was dying. As soon as my brother said, Summer, go to the DR, I was like, ah this is comedy. Thank God Canada voted me safe. And I did not have to deal with any of that. Oh, Lord. Oh, it was funny. Marty, what was your relationship <laughs> like? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Marty. I was just gonna say, can I try to explain my thought process with that, the gummy bear thing? I, I, we were in a alliance of five. I really think that Kevin was gonna flip and I thought Jason was gonna flip. So I was just trying to fix things up. And by doing the gummy bear thing, I thought it was like a fair way. And by G giving him that the choice to put it in or not, if he put it in, I figured like Helena and Kevin would see, okay, man, he's all in. And hopefully we could have fixed that, but it obviously didn't work. <laughs> Uh, Marty, what was your relationship like with Gino in the house? There were so many ups and downs, and honestly, it was pretty much one way. Like, I know I screwed him in more, more time than the other. Like, honestly, love Gino, and I wanted to have his back until the end. The, on day 34, with that Expedia meeting, when I voted, like, this, this is how good the players were in the game. Like, if I had two minutes to step back, I would have never done that. That's why I was so hurt by that. It's just the way, like when you're inside the house as a pressure cooker, it's 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 un, you can't you can't describe that. So like you know, I, I had his back and I didn't want to see him leave uh, last night. And I knew if he left, that I would be right behind him. And here am I today. Gino, you had the opportunity to take Marty out during your HOH last week, but didn't nominate him. Why? Yeah. So. Basically, I had a beautiful summer era Ridiculous. on the side Moose. Uh, Moose was a strong player, so I had him there just in case the back, back door didn't work. Um, obviously, the POV, uh, the odds of you know, winning were very slim, but she won. Uh, I could have convinced her. She was mad at Marty at that time, too. But I had a realization. I'm like, Marty's walking with a huge target on his back. Why take a shot at him? Because I would be the next one after that. Mm -hmm. So... We didn't use it with Helena. And then obviously Jason had the secret power, but I didn't know about it. I kind of wish maybe she used it at this point because I, I'm here sitting down because I'm doing very situation. But I think it was just smarter for my, my gameplay not to like make Helena use the POV, uh, I mean the POV power veto and uh, backdoor Marty. Marty, how would you describe yourself as a player? Uh, I was really good in comp, as you guys can see. Uh, three HOH out of six. Uh, but I was horrible at strategizing. Honestly, I went, when I walked inside the house, I prepared myself physically to, to be good in comps. And my, my goal was to try to fit in with a younger crew. I, I knew it would be, I would be one of the oldest there. I would be an easy early target. So I, would, I, I wanted to focus on socializing, but I, I never like came in with a strategy saying, I'm going to do this, this, and this. And I it was like week to week and I was horrible at it including um, gummy bear decisions. <laughs> uh, Gino, it was a four to one vote. How much did that surprise you? Um, I had a good feeling. Uh, I had that vibe off Kevin that he was going to flip. And uh, Jason had told me that if Kevin, uh, Jason had told me that the chat she had, she had with Helena, if Kevin would flip, she would flip as well. I just didn't feel good about it. I knew it was on the block. We said another strong competitor. When you have two strong competitors on the block, there's no more pawns. Mm -hmm. It's just people could just flip if they want to. So I knew off the bat it was a bad decision. And uh, when I kept talking to Helena and Kev, I just had that vibe like, uh, this is it. Like, I'm going home. And uh, that's what happened. Summer, when you left the house, you decided not to really say goodbye to anyone. Do you regret that decision? Oh, absolutely not not um i said goodbye to betty i gave her a hug she knows that i love her with all my heart and soul and as for everyone else you know i just thought to myself if your landlord hands you an eviction notice would you hug them no so 
<laughs> I didn't plan on hugging him. I uh, sorry, hugging them. And um, I'm a very spiritual person and I do believe in energy transfer. So let me not give you that bad energy or this, you know, iconic, these iconic juices. You know, you don't deserve this. You do not deserve this at all. Marty, what was your relationship like with Kevin and Helena in the house? Uh, Helena, I had a final two with her since I, I think like week two. Uh, uh, as we go along in the game, like I, I trusted her more and more. Like whenever um, she won the power of veto and she didn't use it right there for me, like, okay, yeah, we're solid till the end. There was a little bit of doubt in my head all along because whenever I would like, I put up Josh and Betty twice, and every time she would say, I think you can fix things up with Josh, and she kept saying that. So that was a little alarm in my head saying, oh, maybe she has something on the side with Josh. But like I said, when she didn't use a power veto, I felt that, okay, now we're solid for sure. Kevin, like I love the guy. Uh, honestly, I don't think I ever promised anything more than final five, I think. But going towards the end, I told that to Gino, I really wanted to make like final four with Gino. But the last week or so, I became so close with Kevin and Alina that if I would end up with the five, I didn't know which side I would have went. At this point, I would, I would have decided then. So yeah, I was really close with both of them and trusted them uh, very much. Gino, do you think your relationship with JC Lynn is going to continue outside of the house? I knew you were gonna ask that. Um, so obviously we built something pretty deep in the house, uh, especially in that house, you're going through so much, like a roller coaster of emotions. You're feeling good one day, you're feeling sad, you're feeling mad, good, bad days. Um, so that was a real test. And I think if you transfer that to the real world, the real world with, without all that stress, I think it would work out. So we did talk about it, and I think we're going to give it a try in the real world. Uh, Summer, who were you closest with in the house? I was close with Betty, Josh, and Kevin. Those were my people in the house. Uh, Marty, during your HOHs, did you, um, did you mean it when you told other house guests to kick their feet up? <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. When G left and you said that up the stairs, like, what? And then Summer had to explain it on the way here. Like, oh, okay, now I get it. Yeah, no, like, like that, that's what I said. Like, I was horrible at strategizing. I would say something, somebody, then, oh, this doesn't make sense. And yeah, so like when I said it, most of the time, it, I, I meant it, but yeah, no. Uh, I don't really and, know how to answer the question. Uh, <laughs> That's then, a good one. Uh, Gino, what was your reaction when Marty said you could kick your feet up? Oh, I knew you were ready. That was a curse. <laughs> so when you told me that, I said it to Jason and she looked at me like, you did not just say that. I'm like, yeah, he did. He's like, oh my God, this is not going to be good. So, <laughs> and like a day later, I'm on the block sitting there. I'm like, wow, this is really a curse. So, <laughs> yeah. Never mind the, the curse of the moon. Yeah. <laughs> um, Summer, is there anything you would change about the game you played? Oh, well, for one, I would not align myself with the entire house because it made it very hard for me to try to give it my all in competitions because if I had, you know, one HOH, I had maybe two people I wasn't aligned with. <laughs> so it would have been very difficult for me. I probably would have just like aligned myself with maybe six people and then stuck to that the, those six people. And, you know, I wouldn't uh, overlook anyone because Joshua was somebody that I overlooked. I said, hey, you know, you're my guy. It's all good. I'm not, I, you, you're not somebody that I would consider at all. Everyone else was seeing you as this, this comp beast. And I was like, hey, this little cute, cute little thing. When really I was like, oh, you are the snake that's about to bite me on purpose. Who would have thought? So, yeah. Don't align myself with anybody or a lot of people and don't overlook a single person. Uh, how surprised were you when Josh nominated you? Um, I was very surprised. I was blindsided. I was backstabbed and betrayed. And it just messed me up going into the veto. I couldn't even concentrate because I just wanted to jump off that platform and just, oh, I can't even say it. So, yeah, he, he messed me up. And I think he uh, knew what he did. Uh, fi finally really quick for all of you who do you think is in the best position to win i'm going to start with marty josh i'll say josh as well and same josh amazing uh thank you all so much all right have a good day you. Bye. bye